Hello, so I am Frankie and a very tired mummy. And this is Ottilie, a very, very tired little baby. Um, Ottilie is eight months old and has never been able to sleep through the night. Um, never really gone any longer than two, three hours. She's currently going an hour at a time before waking up. She's in her own room, but she can't self-settle. Um, she just cries and cries and cries. We've tried giving her a dummy, we've tried gradual retreat, we've tried intervals. Um, last night she was up literally single hour uh, and still ended up having to feed us all three, four times in the night just to, just to stop her crying. Anything that you can help would be greatly appreciated and um, as the bags don't lie. <laughs> Thanks. So eight months can be a real challenging age and lots of people worry about an eight month regression. I really don't like the term regression because actually it's all about progress and they're really progressing at this age developmentally and physically there's so much going on so what's happening at eight months this is a little one that's waking really frequently at night I mean to the point that hourly that's like newborn behavior um, mum's explained that this little one isn't self settling and um, is crying a lot and needing a lot of help to get to sleep so Let's take this in stages. At eight months, we really want to see a good two solid naps a day. Um, maybe sometimes a tired little one will need two and then a little top-up nap as well. So don't think that that's unusual if you do need a third, but they definitely need at least three hours of daytime sleep altogether. And you don't want them to be awake for any more than three hours in one stretch during the day as well. Then at bedtime, a nice bedtime routine, same steps, same order every night so that you're cueing your little one that bedtime's coming. And mum said that she's in her own room, so going into her room, making sure it's nice and calm and dark, finishing off with the last feed of the day, and then maybe a story or a song, something that separates the feed from going down to sleep, and then putting her down in the cot to sleep. This is probably where the crying starts understandably you know little ones going well, what do I do I don't know what to do here you've put me down and I want to go to sleep but I don't know how and so probably it ends up you know lots of rocking and patting and striking and maybe extra feeding and mum said she's tried the dummy you know all these kinds of things to try to get her to sleep but what this little one needs now is a really consistent response from you so if that means sitting beside her shushing and patting do that if it means that you do that and every 10 minutes you do a little pick up, calm down and back down, that's fine too. But decide what you're going to do and then be absolutely consistent with it. If it's for, for another child, this child probably does need mum right there or a parent there, but another child might do better to have you leave the room and come back in and offer that reassurance because some little ones are way too stimulated by you even being there. But for others, being there is a huge comfort and it is needed. So be consistent with that at bedtime. And the key is seeing it through. Seeing it through and lasting longer than that little one lasts. We don't want to sit there watching her cry. So pick her up if you need to, cuddle her, calm her, soothe her, reassure her, help her along. But the end goal is that she falls asleep in that cot with your help at first. Then, when she wakes in the night, you go in and do the exact same thing. And she'll start to recognize it. And she'll be thinking, okay, yeah, we did this. I know what this looks like. I know how this goes. And bit by bit, she'll get better and better at resettling. There may be a decrease in the night wakings as well, um, quite quickly, which is brilliant. And that's just because she's knitting sleep cycles together and not falling out of them so much and looking for your help. There'll still be some wakings that will need your help and that's fine and it will take some time but you need to be totally consistent and after a good week to 10 days you should start to see improvements, decreased wakings, easier settling and that's how you'll get there bit by bit. Don't give up though, if you give up too easily it, it just confuses them and, and you stay stuck. So keep going and you will get that restful night's sleep.